Darren here. And this video is a quick hack for how you can create your own archive within Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I'm here on my Google Classroom page. These are my training classrooms. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open up um, this one here, which I've been using with the GEG UK. And as you can see, here's my stream and I've hidden the classwork from that stream. Um, so I've gone into settings here and I've made sure that I've hidden notifications. Okay, that's the first thing. And that way I keep my class stream nice and clear. And all of my classwork, my students know to look under the classwork tab. Now you'll notice that there's two different colorings here. We've got ones that are grayed out and ones that are much more dark. The dark ones have been posted, the grayed out ones are either scheduled or draft. And as you can see, I've got a topic called my town, and then I've created week one and week two because we've started online learning. Um, so what I want to do is I really want to get rid of um, this particular section here. Okay, I want to get rid of my town. I don't want to hold on to that anymore. I want to archive that. So I'm just going to come over to my town. And I'm going to click on this particular topic here, uh, this particular challenge, should I say. And I'm just going to go to edit. And just down here, we can see that we've got the original post and it's in the topic of my town. If I click on here, you can see I've got a topic called archived assignments. So I'm going to add it to that and save it. So I now come back to my classroom stream and you'll see that there's no post within my town. Now there's no post in there, I can get, delete that topic altogether. So that's now gone and that's tidied up my stream and right down the bottom is where I have my archived assignments topic and all of my archived assignments will go in there. So I'm gonna keep week one and week two for the moment, but later on I might only want two weeks showing at a time. So I might move again by just going to edit and I might move this into archived assignments and save and that way I can make sure my students there we go, are only working on the work that they should be working on um, for the given week rather than um, anything else um, which might cause confusions okay so just click save now all of that week one information has gone in there and I can just get rid of that particular topic again. And it just helps keep everything organized. And the reason I put it at the bottom is because if you've got lots of topics, obviously you want the most recent to be at the top, and that one is always to be found at the bottom then. So that's a nice, easy way to create your own hack for having a, a folder for archive in Google Classroom. <laughs> 